What's up, what's up friends? It's time for another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox video. Today, we're going to do an Elixir comparison. We are here on the iPad because in the Windows Store, the, the Microsoft Store, we can't even see some of these packs, right? So I wanna take a look at these different packs, and I also wanna do a comparison based on how many free Elixirs we can get from the challenges every day. So we're gonna compare the challenge Elixirs to this Elixir pack. Hold on. All the way, Talent Show, I'm sorry, Talent Show pack. $3, which I kind of like that pack. Actually, I like this pack, the one-stop shop. That's a pretty decent pack for $7 or for $6. That's a pretty decent pack. Um, and then I also want to compare it to this Chill Energy pack. So in the Chill Energy, we get 2,500. It's weird because you have to convert it and then convert it and then convert it again. 2,500 um, Chill Energy for this Yeti mission. And then we go to the Yeti mission and we loot for these snowflakes. And then we use the snowflakes in the energy store. I mean, not the energy store, the event store on tier one ability elixirs, tier two ability elixirs, tier three ability elixirs. So I wanna see how much that really equates to like down the line, ultimately when all is said and done, is it really more efficient to, if you're gonna buy a couple of those elixir packs, is it more efficient to just buy the event energy and then use it on the snowflakes and then use it in the event store for the uh, tier 2 ability elixirs, tier 1 ability elixirs, tier 3 ability elixirs? Ability elixirs? <laughs> All the different ability elixirs there. If it's going to be maybe more efficient to do that, maybe it's going to be cheaper ultimately. I mean, all these ways involve spending money aside from the challenges, but... That's kind of the, the, we're playing mobile game, right? We're playing a mobile game. Anyway, let's take a look at what we get first from this ability material challenge. So... Oh yeah, I would like to sweep this on the ultimate difficulty, but here we can only get the, we can only do the second to last node. Because these opponents are Ninjago team, <laughs> level 70. I can't compete with that. I think I tried, I can't compete with that. That's, that's pretty crazy. Uh, but I think you can choose whatever team you want though. Yeah, I think you can just cho choose anything for your team, but still, that was a little tricky. So we have, uh, I'll take a look at it at the end, 655. Five. And 665. So that's 12, 11, and 10 all day from these uh, from these ability elixirs from there. So back here, we look again at the talent show. I don't want to look at this one-stop shop. I want to look at this talent show because this has XP and gold, and I don't want to... That kind of changes the values of everything. I want to look just direct comparison. Uh, tier 1, tier 2, tier, tier 3 elixirs are... 12, 11, 10 from the challenges, and then for two of these, if we were to get two packs, it would be 14, 12, and 10, which is kind of worth $5 in value. That challenge, sweeping it at the second to last node, is worth equal to basically $5 in value from talent show packs. It's almost as much as two of these talent show packs. So now we're going to uh, go next, and we're going to pick up the... Uh, where is it? We're going to pick up the... No. The chill energy pack and we're gonna see how much we can get from this event store if we just buy the chill energy pack and sweep and then trade them in for elixirs so we're back here we're at the event page we got the 2500 energy pack i want to see how many snowflakes this is going to get us all day because it looks like it is a 2.5 um conversion so if we use the loot if we use 12 energy it's going to give us 2.5 times back our energy investment in snowflakes so this should be roughly <laughs> hold on let me let me do the math should be six thousand two hundred roughly six thousand two hundred snowflakes that we get from this right so we're gonna loot this completely 2484 oh my goodness six thousand two hundred snowflakes we should get it takes a while <laughs> it takes a while, it takes a while. 6,210 plus what we got from the first time. So 6,240 snowflakes. Oh my goodness. So now I gotta do some quick maths. 6,240. And we had a couple from before. So I'm gonna have to take a look at... Hold on guys, I'm gonna add this together. I'm gonna do some quick maths and uh, find out how many we can actually get all day from this. Okay, so we're close enough to 63. We're going to round it just to 6,300 for the sake of being easier to digest. Uh, let's, so let's say 6,300. That would mean 2,100 snowflakes per 
investment in each energy elixir. So 2100 snowflakes would be seven purchases of this tier one ability elixir, seven purchases of this tier two, seven purchases of this tier three. 2100, 2100, 2100, totaling 6300. I'm just averaging it to make it a little bit easier to, uh, to understand. So uh, like I said, seven purchases of these, seven purchases of these, and seven purchases of these, which brings us to, where was the math that I already did? Uh, 42 of these, seven purchases times six in each purchase, uh, seven purchases of this, which is 28, and then seven of this, which is going to be 21, and now we will do a chart to show the values in compressed. I don't know why we're doing it, I just thought I was, I was curious, so I was like, maybe other people are curious too. So here is the breakdown at the end of the day. I was also going to do like farming the uh, campaigns, like looting the campaigns, but there's a lot of variables in that as well. There's variables as to if you get good or bad RNG in the campaigns, like maybe sometimes they drop, maybe sometimes they don't drop. Who knows if they could drop? Also, how much uh, gems you use to refresh the energy or if you're not refreshing the energy at all. So there's also variables in terms of that. But I at least, the basically, the, the premise of this was I wanted to see if the chill energy pack would be a valuable source of elixirs if we bought that and did that and, and got the elixirs that way instead of waiting for the talent show pack every day if the chill energy pack would just give us more elixirs with that value um, than the talent show pack would. And it turns out that it doesn't actually. It turns out that it's uh, challengers every day. The second to last node, that's not even the most node, uh, the, the, the last node as we saw. Uh, 12, 11, and 10, which is not bad for the challenge. I wish that was every day, right? That would be amazing if that was every day, uh, but it's not every day. Uh, talent show pack is not a bad value for $3, seven, six, and five. Not a bad value. I think <laughs> based on the values in, in a lot of th this game and many other mobile games, uh, that's one of the better values. You at least know what you're getting. <laughs> so anything where you know what you're getting is always nice instead of just like, who knows what you can get? Who knows what quantities you get? It's all random. Uh, chill energy pack though, uh, I, I like to compare that to the talent show pack. It's $1 difference for seven talent show packs versus one chill energy pack. You just get way more of the harder to get more valuable tier two and tier three elixirs. So it's still better to get those talent show packs than the other ones. But still, I mean, the best the best value is still the challenges is just getting them for free, right? So anyway, I was just curious to see, again, I was just curious to see if the chill energy pack would be a good value to use that f as an elixir source instead of the talent show pack. Turns out it's not the most efficient uh, use of funds is, is end of the day is, is what we, we found out. But anyway, uh, I was just curious. I don't know if you guys are curious as well. I don't know if you guys even care about this video. Like none of this makes any sense. I don't even care. I'm just gonna do whatever I was doing before. But anyway, I just, I was curious. So, right? Uh, anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.